Hi, welcome to another episode of My Home, My Sale, Homeowner's Corner. Today we're going to be discussing seller financing agreements. The title of this episode is Cracking the Code of Seller Financing Agreements. I know we've been talking about seller financing agreements a lot lately, uh, but this is a very vital tool that home buyers, sellers, and especially real estate agents need to know in a rising interest rate market. Think about when you went back, went, went to real estate school. These, This is what they talked about a lot within real estate school. Owner financing, seller financing, subject to mortgages, assumable more mortgages. So these, these, these are some things as a real estate professional um, and as a, as a home buyer or seller are critical to know. So let's start. Cracking the code of seller financing agreements. Seller financing agreements may seem complex, but they actually, they're actually quite simple at their core. These financial arrangements offer buyers an alternate path to home ownership by allowing them to bypass traditional mortgage lenders. In essence, it's like a loan, but the seller plays the role of the lender. Let's break down the basics. Number one, the key players is going to be the home seller, the current homeowner who's willing to finance part or all of their home's purchase price, and the home buyer, the eager purchaser who's interested in buying the property. Number two, terms and conditions. We're going to outline the purchase price, the agreed upon price of the home, the interest rate, the percentage that determines the cost of borrowing, down payment, the initial payment made by the buyer at the time of purchase, loan amount, the sum the seller is willing to finance for the buyer, monthly payment, the amount the buyer pays each month com comprising both principal and interest, the loan term, the agreed upon loan duration, usually 15 to 30 years, and a balloon payment, a lump sum payment typically due at the end of the loan term. It, it can be the remaining balance or sometimes a portion of, of it. Be sure to check out the links below for a free real estate purchase contract. This is a great contract you can use as a wholesale investor or as a home seller if you're selling your home for sale by owner. The third part of a seller financing agreement is the agreement process. Negotiation. The buyer and seller discuss and agree upon the terms of the financing arrangement. Everything from the interest rate to the monthly payments is on the table. Legal documentation. Both parties need to draft a legally binding contract outlining the agreed upon terms. Many sellers seek legal assistance for this step to ensure the contract complies with both local laws. Property title. While the buyer takes possession of the property, the seller might retain the title until the loan is fully paid, especially if a balloon payment is, is involved. This is something that's very important to discuss with your title company and have outlined in the seller financing agreement. The other key part are what are the benefits? Flexibility. Seller financing offers more leeway for negotiation compared to traditional lenders. It's a simplified process. The absence of a bank or mortgage company streamlines the transaction. Access to buyers. Sellers can now cast a wider net by offering financing, attracting a, bro a broader range of buyers. Sellers can enjoy steady income from interest payments, monthly income. The risks. Buyers may default on payments, leading to potential legal action. Balloon payments. Buyers must be prepared for balloon payments, which can be substantial. Legal complex complexity. Complying with local real estate laws and regulations can be challenging, requiring legal counsel. Professional involvement. Real estate attorney. Many sellers and buyers involve a real estate attorney to draft the contract and ensure it complies with local laws. Title company, they often play a role in facilitating the sale, ensuring a clean title transfer. Servicing company, some sellers use third-party servicing companies to handle payments and record keeping. In a nutshell, seller finance is a method where a home seller becomes the lender, offering financing to the buyer, and it can be a win-win situation for both parties, but requires careful negotiation, legal documentation, and thorough understanding of the terms. Thank you for listening.